So welcome back everyone, we are on the hunt, uh, it is choppy or windy, uh, yeah, run the hunt, run the hunt. Just those two, please. Thank you. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. You too. Always feel right in this one. Fingers crossed. Take 
bit of the games. Quality TV TV show back in the day. These are doing the circuit. I've seen millions of these. Did you get a new job? Uh, ECG this morning. She said you had your yeah. proof. No, I had to go to Auckland for yeah. I didn't go to Auckland for yeah. And then I got my PCR on Monday. Right. And then my on Thursday. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Everybody's having something done. <laughs> Which are these? Oh, Clarissa. Yeah. Okay. So on Tuesday, I can copy some little Marvel Men for ninety nine fifty p.
Get at that run up. It literally is potluck. Sketches. That's it for West Wickham. So we're now in Sydenham. Uh, reason we're in Sydenham. So funny enough, I've just had a call from my father-in-law and he's like, Scott, I was in Sydenham High Street. Get yourself down here because you're on your way down this way anyway. Get yourself down here quickly and check out one of the charity shops next to Superdrug. It has a heap of comics in it. And I was like, oh, okay. I said, do you know if they're new? Do you know if they're old? Absolutely no idea. He said, just need to go and check them out. So. Hence why I'm here. I tend not to do Sydney too much. Uh, the prices are hit and, hit and miss around here. More hit than they are. More miss than they are hit. Let's get this mask on. Uh, let's go and see. It looks like there's a few on the other side anyway. Hopefully I don't get run over. Sorry. Let's see what's in this one. Free 
headed dragon. One of ponies. Oh, sorry. Sorry, can I look at the comic books if that's all right? Just to. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Just see if there's any that I need. Thank you. Remember these from back in the day on your bike? Oh yeah, yeah, that's all right. Oh, thank you. Just take a look. Thanks. Thank you. Apologies. Yeah, no, I've got a lot of those. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bastard. Right. Let's get out of here. I've had a bad day charity shop hunting today. Might be because it's Saturday. It's a Saturday. I think I'll blame it on. So it's not a waste issue, we might as well do it while it's over there. There is a St. Christopher's at the top, right at the top, but it's so expensive. Uh, but while I'm here, let's check this one out. Can anything, can anything redeem? Retro roller skates, some weird looking teddies, more comics. Richie Rich. Pound for the lot. Might take a look. <laughs> it's locked, but I will take a look on here. Oh, sorry. Am I allowed to look at the comics that are in the glass cabinet, please? I think it's yeah, locked. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just get the pen. Oh, thank you. Sorry. 
Oh yeah, it's just a, a look at those ones. Yeah, That's right. I guess yeah. it's the. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I might have a lot of them because I've got a huge collection. But I thought, oh, while I'm here, might as well look. Oh, thank you. you wanna... Yeah, yeah. I'll just look quickly. It won't take me, yeah. take me like two minutes. So do these ones just. Did they um, uh, ten ten pound each? Yeah, no, that's right. Just. No, yeah, I've got a lot of those. Apologies, apologies yeah. for coming over. Sorry about that. Yeah. Did you put the ticket on? The oh top? yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, there you go. So... Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for that. Thank you. Bye. Oh, Thank you. there you go. Bye. Ten pound each for a comment. I thought it was ten pound for the lot. Oof. Feel guilty now. I made a gold away to open a cupboard. Uh, that's what you're dealing with in Sydenham, guys. That's why I tend not to come to Sydenham. Uh, so it's a strange one. Oops, sir. Same stuff, box sets. No, nothing for me. Blu-rays again, records. I always check these at this one. It's always got the same stuff.
even within. Oh, there's so many copies of this game. I think that's a decent game though. I'm gonna go, go to. I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk, guys. Now, there's one on the main road which I never go to. Never go to this charity shop on the main road. However, I've heard stories. I'd like to say gossip that someone found not that long ago a bunch of Transformers G1 uh, in here. The you know, light's quite busy. thing that I've seen sealed. Box is a bit battered, map sealed. Well, I'm assuming it's official PlayStation for a fiver. Code Masters. They're decent. Uh, but not something I'm gonna jump at. Lord of the Rings. Five. Hey, not the pounds. See you 
And your puzzle? Tina Turner. Yeah. Whoa. Right, run away. Run away. What are you doing? Is anything decent? No. game in a shot. NBA. Just nothing that's popped out today. This game. I love this game. Sorry. Total rise of 
Incredibles. There's another game. We love golf on the way. There isn't nothing. This is a shocking day today, isn't it? Oh, here you go. I bet it's hardly anything though, but Fiverr, Jesus Christ. Fiverr. Uh, let's leave that there though, someone might be that up because it's a game. Oh, I need a bit of this. A bit of grammar. No your shit, or oh, no your shit. That's quite funny. Nothing there. Guitar Hero 3 at the bottom. So it's been a miss at the charity shops. This week, anyway. Just in time to stand around. Nothing in Saturday night. He's checking his phone. Get down there, too. Oh, let's go through these quickly. Crazy. Let's check the toys because we can get down there earlier. There's one missing out of that set. Ten pack ten. Amazing. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. On it. it is absolutely battered, absolutely battered. I think I'll leave it. I'm going to show you guys. Watch out for these Harry Potter boxes. Oh, it's Why you gotta watch out for them. Five, ten, one for four. Jeez. I'm afraid I can't take any books. It's just a few. It's just I don't know who CDX will take that in like that. I'm gonna leave it there, let someone else take it. Just all pursuit. A few of those today. Sorry, 
No, no, I was just popping a few extra ones in. Get out for a couch. Mm. Oh, there's DVDs out there. Uh, that's where they keep the overstock. I can't see anything out there. Got it. Got it. Oh, on a charity shop hunt still. And guys, I'm in St. Mary's Craig. Now, the reason I come here is I found this on the off chance a few years ago. But it is. So this one in St. Mary's Craig gets all the other St. Mary, gets all the other of the South East's stock here. So it's like a little I guess it's a regional store. Uh, but there is about a hundred Wii games in there, PlayStation. So we're gonna go in there. This could this could be the one we want. Uh let's see. And it's pretty cheap as well. Oh. Where was that? is that here so sideboard 20 iphone cases one pound uh, which are these iphone 10 cds and down here because it's a clearing well it used to be a clearance store two pound for console games but as you can see there's one disc that's in a disc Sorry, mate. Thank you. Sorry mate, sorry, sorry. No, that's alright. No, that's alright. So 
I've seen this one again. Splinter cell. Oh, uh, I think good? No, just looking, just looking there. Sorry, yeah, no, that's my fault. No, that's all right. Cheers, thank you. That's all right. Look around here. Nothing. This one is all day shop and stuff from the stores. It's a clearance store. Two for us. I'm going to try and get that for that case. Actually, I can take that. Yeah, I'm actually. I'll do that. Put it up in there. Six. Welcome back to Scott's, I was going to say comics and collectibles, Scott's retro collectibles, got to get used to that still, still, uh, but guys, thanks for watching what's been so far, it was disappointing, it was disappointing, the first half of the video was very disappointing in terms of find, I, find, I weren't even going to put this video together, but for me personally and the stuff I collect, I thought I scored in the last charity shop, uh, and it was a strange one, so I was coming home and I thought, right, I'm going to pop through St Mary's Craig, uh, I know for a fact they have a St Christopher's there, and I want to say it's a clearance, so I know it's a clearance store, it's their eBay store, but it's their like head office for the south. So everything from the south, southeast, uh, goes to that charity shop and it either goes onto eBay, it gets sorted through, and if they've got anything that they feel they can sell or stocks have got overspill, it goes down. It gets it gets sold reasonably cheap, I'd say. Uh, now, when I used to go there a few years ago, everything was getting sold for 10 p's. Uh, so it's 10p a game, 10p a disc, and it's really well. Then it closed down during COVID, uh, literally closed down for the two years. Uh, and I've not been in there since. So it's the first time going back today. Now, the staff in there are absolutely friendly. Uh, I turned the GoPro off near the end, but they were like, no, nah, turn it on, film us, film this. Let's do it like porn stars where they show how much it's, you know, you're going to pay for it. And I was like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, so we were having a bit of a joke there. Uh, and then I went back, guys, and you didn't see this on video, but you would have seen me look at the Nintendo Wii's now. They said £30 a Nintendo Wii they had on the sticker, so I weren't going to ask about them. 
but they had all the bits there. They all looked nicely presented. There was no pad. So I asked the question to the guy at the till. He's like, how much are your consoles and do they come with pads? Uh, again, super friendly guy. And he's like, look, no pads. They're sold as seen. You can bring them back if they don't work. We just want £10 a console. I don't know where these £30 have come. If they've come from the stores and we've just left them on there. So if you watch my videos religiously and you watch them weekly, you'd notice that I picked up a Nintendo Wii pretty minty uh, black box with the pads with the instructions with everything but the console now i thought i can't leave it for 10 pound he wanted a console in the end so i thought i've got to pick up so i got everything with it uh, well i don't need but i'll have a spare but i picked up the black console to go in that box so that is a completed uh wii nintendo wii completed for the black one uh i also got the sensor you know, the plug, you let me choose which one I wanted. So I, I love that. And then guys, you would have seen the balance boards there, 15. I should have maybe asked about them because he said the prices that are on the products in it are not the prices. But I just didn't think to ask about the Nintendo balance boards, which were boxed. I wanted the black Nintendo Wii to go in that box thing. All I was thinking is I can complete that box. It's another completed console. So I picked that. And then game-wise, again, super friendly. So you would have seen that the Captain America case was all ripped, battered. He was like, look, go back. Grab a, grab a decent case and change it over. He said, don't worry about it. He said, I want you to have whatever you feel is the best case there. Uh, I just picked up which uh, another game, uh, a, 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 a game that was missing, a game case that was missing the game inside. So I found one there, which was Nintendo Wii and changed it over with that. Uh, but yeah, picked up Captain America, one pound. I just don't have this in my collection. And again, instructions are there. Disc is all good. Uh, so yeah, picked that up. Now, this was an empty case, uh, which is Marvel, a Superheroes 3D band brand, Grand Master Challenge, my eyes. Uh, but it looked like a decent game. I would have picked up, to be fair. But I found in an empty case, nothing at all, Mario, uh, Super Mario Galaxy. So I asked him if I could take this case and put the game in there, which he was like, yeah, fine, do that. It's fine. It's, it's nothing to him. So yeah, so one pound for that. And then the last game, I do love my kind of... I say horror-related games. I don't know if it's a horror-related game. It's just the fact it said Never Dead. Uh, that I looked at it and you would have seen that I, I thought, you know, with all these kind of games and the maker they're made by, I thought, you know, you've got to check this one out on CX. I bet you it's a little desirable. So I think it, I did show it on screen. I think it sells for 10. They give you six. Uh, but I thought, yeah, I'll put that into my collection. So pick that up as well. Uh, so to be fair, that rescued this live charity shop hunt. Now there was bits and pieces I went past which I thought, actually, it's not too bad, but not for me at the moment. So you would have seen the Harry Potter box set. You would have seen other DVDs, CDs, no doubt. Uh, some games that I put back. I should have really picked up, which I totally forgot to go back for, is the PlayStation 2 Matt and Game, which was, it was mint inside the box, but the box had come away. So it's not mint, Scott, it's not mint. Uh, but everything inside the box was mint. It was still in the packaging, etc., and sealed. Uh, so I maybe should have gone back for that for a fiver. Uh, but that being said, no regrets. I'm happy with what I've got. The main thing I'm happy with, and I don't know, you guys won't, I guess you won't be as overexcited as what I am because I've got the box. I've got everything that goes with it. I just need the console. So I will give it a little clean up. Uh, I will test it as well, but I'm super, super happy to be having this, uh, to go back into that box and making that box complete because that's absolutely fantastic. So I paid 10 for this and I believe for the box, I paid a couple of quid guys with the uh, with the pads and everything in it so yeah complete wii u black version so happy with that so i don't know why i keep saying so and i'm happy with but that's where i'm going uh delighted in how it turned out in the end i wasn't even going to put this video together it just shows you that i i do have days i know everyone does where you don't find much you just keep going for it because you think actually there could be something there it's like i always say it's the thrill of the hunt and the buzz of the hunt uh, that being said, I'm glad I found those in the end and it's made this video come to life and I feel a lot more happier. Uh, but on that note, what I was going to, I was going to say about reselling as well. And this is when I come around to, uh, myself where, you know, imagine if I was full-time reselling now, I can't afford to spend that amount of time at the charity shops and not come out of anything. Now, if you're talking about reselling, I'd have to look at clothing. I'd have to look at a brick or back, etc. But for me at the moment, I am a collector more than I am a seller. Uh, so I've always got that collector focus mindset at the moment uh, or bits and pieces i like that i think i would like to get rid of if that makes sense so around the retro gaming toys comics books 
that's the kind of stuff I'm into and that's the kind of stuff if I get into reselling a little bit more hardcore than what I'm currently doing I wanted I'd want to move in those direction doing toy affairs etc uh, gaming marks but I don't know why I'm going on to that let's leave that there let's park that uh, yeah videos coming up so boot sales start in a couple of weeks oh my god I can't believe it I've been waiting so long we've got a massive storm here in the UK at the moment and over this side half of the fence has gone from this building uh, but yes uh, Boot sales start up 6th of March where I am, so I will be going to the first one. I can't wait. I've got Sandown Toy Fair next week. That should be amazing. 500 stores. Stores? 500 stalls, even. 500 stalls of pure retro goodness, and that could be from gaming, toys. And when I say toys, it's I call it like my decent toys, 80s, 90s. Uh, everything is decent, decent items, and there's going to be some growls there. You're all gonna see something you like, no doubt, in those videos. I will try and film as much as possible. So I always film what I'm picking up, but I do a tour of every store as well. Store, store again. Stall, stall, store, store, stall. Right, let's get that straight. So that's that's the plan for next week. Uh, I've got a pickup video, which I've done, I need to put out because February, in terms of me just going around, like you see now, guys, I thought I was gonna have a good time doing this live because I've had such good luck at the charity shops. And it just shows when I brought the GoPro, it's like a light. I don't know, it's like, oh God, something's, you know, I've been hexed. I've been hexed, uh, not getting anything, but uh, yeah, it's paid out in the end. But yeah, I, I've done pretty well in the other ones that I go to without the GoPro. So I have done a pickup video there, uh, which no doubt I put out. And then I've just done, uh, literally a couple of days ago, I went into another few uh, charity shops without the GoPro and found a stack of Goosebump books. Now, I had most of them, but the charity shop I went into, I could see them in the back put on a just put on a shelf and i did ask a day for sale and they said oh a, a lady's coming back tomorrow because her and her brother buy and sell so they knew they're resellers and they said and they want to know if they need this need these collections and i was thinking what do you mean they need these in their collection if they're reselling they're doing it to sell i don't know why they didn't buy them there and then so i explained to them that i've been collecting those books for ages and uh I showed them my list of the ones I wanted and they allowed me to go through them and pick out the ones that I needed to not finish my collection, but I picked out a good 10. I thought I only need like three or four. I don't, I need about 15, but I've got about 10 uh, from this charity shop. So no doubt I'll bring you on that adventure as well. But guys, on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage I've put out. Apologies, it wasn't the greatest hunt. I was expecting so much more. Uh, but let's leave it there. Stay safe. See you again soon. Till next time, take care.